as we look together towards the East for the coming of Christ victorious. We do so with expectation and with joy. Rose is the color of joy. The days may be dark and the darkness may be increasing, but we are a people of hope and of joy. The blue and the purple may be dark, but they are not void of light. On the third Sunday of Advent, as with the fourth Sunday in Lent, the color rose stands out on the refreshing Sunday in the penitential and preparatory seasons of the church. Reminding us, that the penitential days, the preparatory days, are limited. And there is an eternal feast that is coming that has no end. It is not merely the Easter or the Christmas that we keep on earth. It is the feast of heaven. And it is that feast for which we prepare ourselves, not only in these Advent days, but in the days of this life. And we do so with joy and with hope and by faith. So on the third Sunday of Advent, the rose stands out to remind us that we are a people of joy, the rose reminds us that our waiting is coming to a close, that the great feast will come, that we are not hoping in vain. We know how the gospel story ends. We're just waiting to see the end of it. We know that eventually and in God's time, not ours, God wins, and salvation is freely offered to God's people through the mercy of Christ. God wins, and we enjoy the benefits of that victory of light and life. God wins, and the darkness is no more, and death and suffering have flown away, have been vanquished and defeated. And even now, in anticipation of that victory, we rejoice in the Lord always.